And uh, we're going to continue. The beat's going to go on around here for tonight and tomorrow into Friday, and then it'll change. But 62 plans tonight go to it. The wind's very light, not a factor. And for tomorrow, we're going to flirt with 70. Probably 68 is the number. We're just about normal to date uh, for uh, this month, which winds down, by the way, uh, at the end of the week and early next week. So skies are clear. That's good. Uh, you can see a lot of acres of sunshine will be developing for tomorrow. High pressure will begin to build in and then the clouds will begin to drift in. Now the drifting in tomorrow will be probably later on the day, but nothing big. A few more clouds than today. Then the leading edge of cold front approaches. It has a line to it. It weakens as it approaches the city. This is five o'clock axis cluster between Andover and Newburgh looks like it wants to be north and west and north. And then after that, it kind of comes on through, but there are little ripples or bands of moisture behind it, so they could kick off a scattered shower or thunderstorm isolated threat of some of them being severe and that's uh, why we have a main threat of damaging winds and hail to the west and north of the city and large hail at that marginal risk here in the city so uh, as we look at the map the change maker is leading edge of the cold front coming across in Pennsylvania all right comes on through here Friday night and then your weekend looks okay Saturday there could be a shower about Sunday the high really builds in the upper level feature leaves and the high really takes charge on Monday Day. So if you want two great days over the weekend, it is Sunday. And again, it's Monday when temperatures get to 80. And look what happens Tuesday and Wednesday. We're going into the mid 80s.